Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick reaction to the Sixers' great win over the Thunder in Oklahoma City to go to 2-1 and one and move the Thunder to 0-3 oh as they won 115-103, to 103, led by a great game by Steph Curry, or Seth Curry, excuse me, particularly in the first half, and then Joel Embiid got his as well, playing through an injury, 22 point nine rebounds, six assists, one steal, and three blocks. There's still a heck of a game. For Joel, Shai Gilgis Alexander, for them, their star at 29.6 rebound, eight assists, one steal, and one block. So a hell of a game for him as well. But it was obviously not enough to beat our Sixers. Um, also, to. Tyrese Maxey played solid again with 14, 5 rebounds and 2 assists. I like seeing him keep getting those quite a few rebounds each game. He's definitely turning into a good rebounding guard, which obviously helps you to push the ante and push transitions, so that's very good to see. Tobias only had 14 in this game, but he still had 9 and 5 to go with it, so I think that's still pretty solid. Danny Green actually had 11 and 8 in this game after not really being much of a factor in some of the other games, so that's very nice to see for Danny Green. And Matisse Thibel had three, four, one and one, one steal, three blocks. Obviously, a guard being able to come away with three blocks, that just shows his defensive expertise and defensive prowess, and that's exactly what he's in the game for. And man plays great defense. He's basically the Tony Allen of the team. And Gorge Niang was able to get 12 as he went. I believe it was three of four. Yeah, three of four from the three. The only guy you can point to to this game that struggle, that didn't do what you really wanted him to do. Maybe he wanted more points out of Toby, but he had a good overall game when he was able to actually get the nine boards and have the five assists and kind of figured out a way to play when he wasn't playing his best shooting-wise. And also Steph, or Seth, excuse me, stepped up with the scoring and so did Danny Green, where he was actually able to get 11, and then Joel had 22, so he didn't really need to be as into the scoring crop in this game. And then Matisse Thibel played killer defense. Gorge Niang did good at the three. The only guy that you want to have an impact as he continues to develop that didn't really in this game. I mean, he still had nine points because he was able to get his in other ways and go three of nine from the floor. But you would not want to see Firk have back-to-back -back bad games at three after having a good game a couple games ago. So that's something you obviously want to see get churning in the other direction so you have the best three-point shooting available and not just a couple deep. Uh, Isaiah Joe also had zero in 10 minutes, but he's still developing, so that doesn't all that much surprise me. And then Paul Reed was able to get five rebounds and two points and two assists and one steal and one block in nine minutes. B-ball Paul, so that's good to see him continue to develop and give you little inroads and supply some force when he comes in for short minutes to continue to get better himself. So overall, this was a great game for our Sixers to be able to win 115-103. to 103. I would say Seth Curry, Joel Embiid, and definitely Matisse Thibel, just because of his defense, were really the stars of this game because he really made a difference on defense. You have a guard that has three blocks. You have Joel Embiid, who was still able to get his through the injury, and then you have Seth Curry stepping up because you have guys playing through injury. That's exactly what you want to see. Great game by our Sixers. The Sixers' next tilt coming up will be against the New Orleans Pelicans, or excuse me, no, that, it will be against the New York Knicks on Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. That will be the Sixers' next game tomorrow at 7.30 after having a great win last night in Oklahoma City, even in a good game by Shea Gilgis-Alexander. They limited the rest of the catch. Yes, this is a team you should beat, but you have to beat teams you should beat in order to be the team the Sixers want to be. And that is exactly what they did in this game. So this has been a recap to the Sixers and Thunder game. Subscribe down below or above if you enjoy the content. Peace out, everybody. And stay safe and go Sixers.